guys think this is really important, real quick. Uh, out, we got Christian Kirksey, we got Kendall Lamb, we got David Njoku, we got Demarius Randall. Questionable, we got Morgan Burnett, we got Rashard Higgins, we got Chris Hubbard, we got Sheldrick Redwine, we got Chris Smith, we got Audarius Taylor, we got Denzel Ward, we got Greedy Williams. Settle down. Okay, so questionable, you got Burnett, Higgins, Hubbard, Redwine, Smith, Taylor, Ward, Williams. Thank you. That long list of injuries. What do you what do you plan to do in your secondary if you are shorthanded Sunday night? The guys that are there, I expect to show up and play well, and to compete every snap. We've got a bunch of guys back there with a lot of experience. We've had good depth back there, and uh, I expect them to play well. They expect to play well. There's a guy like I mean, are you, I know you have so many guys, but like a guy like Burnett who hasn't practiced this week, but. There's a chance he can play. You got to listen. It's questionable. I mean, is he just so experienced that it doesn't matter that he wasn't out there this week? Uh, the guys that are listed questionable definitely could play, uh, potentially. You know, um, and yeah, Morgan's a guy that could do it. Yeah. I, I think once you get past a certain point in this league, it becomes a lot about mental. Um, not that the physical is not important because it is. Um, but if you have to sacrifice a little bit of physical uh, for the mental, you do that. But just because guys, some guys are questionable, so I'm guessing there'll be game time decisions or close to game time decisions. Yeah. Is that uncertainty make it difficult on a unit, whether it's a secondary, whether it's the old line, not knowing if Hub's going to be in there? It does, but we preach uh, preparation during the course of the week, and uh, that goes for the backup guys just as it does the starters because once you're in the game, you could become a starter with one play. So uh, nothing's really changed from that aspect. Uh, receive any update on Dave Njoku or Christian Kirksey yet in terms of whether or not they like have to have a surgery or anything? I don't know that yet. Um, I just know they're they're out. The guys who are questionable, and maybe this is a dumb question, but the guys who might be game time decisions, does it help that the game's later in the day for, for some of these injuries? Yeah. Or something like that? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we'll probably know uh, on some of them within the next 24 hours or so, but uh, there's a few that be game time decisions, um, certainly. It helps, um, you know, the amount of hours definitely, definitely helps. I know there's another injury question, Freddie, but it feels like a ton. Um, I know they can be random sometimes, but do you look into it and say, you know, man, we have three hamstrings in one practice. Are we doing something? Do we need to change something? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I don't know why it just happens here. So, because I've been in the league almost 15 years and, you know, it's been the same deal. So, I mean, everybody else is doing it. I don't know. So maybe we've got to look, and the individual needs to look and see. So I don't know. Only thing I, I you know, only thing I suspected, I, I just have to go off who's there. And whoever's there is going to get prepared to play. How do you feel like your um, practice is gone? I mean, there's been, on some days, you've had eight, nine guys not even practicing. But have you had a really good work? Uh, good preparation week. I think mentally these guys uh, have been good in the meeting room. They've taken it to the field very good. And, um, you know, listen, I expect us to show up and play well. Um, that expectations uh, hasn't changed. It won't ever change. Um, I just need 11 on each side of the ball to show up and play. And I think the guys that we're taking to the game will do that. Um, and we'll see. Confidence that he'll be able to step up considering his likely uh, increased role? Well, uh, you know, Eric competes. Uh, that's what gives him a chance. He's a competitor. Um, and we'll see. I mean, he, you know, he's played before, he's done well before. And again, we expect him to play well. 
I expect him to play well. He expects himself to play well. Our defense needs him to play well. Um, and in return, it means our team needs him to play well. So I think the guys, uh, listen, the guys that show up are going to play well. I firmly believe that. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. We'll see where we're at. We just want to show up and, and play each snap like it's the very last one and not look at the scoreboard and just keep playing. The same thing we've been stressing since March. Um, and that's what we're going to do. Mac Wilson not being here. Not uh, he had a personal work. issue he had to take care of. He'll be he will be good back. to go. Sir. Yep. And, um, you know, obviously it's a sensitive issue, and I will. I hope it comes across as a sensitive question. But is Chris Smith okay? Uh, Chris is doing good. Um, he should be back. Uh, I'm, I, I'm hesitant to say whether he's going to suit up or not. Uh, I'd like to talk with Chris and see. And and uh, but yeah, uh, Chris is doing doing well. It's a tough time period still for the family. Had such a good camp. I mean, what does he need to do to get back to that? I mean, the, those flashes he showed. Um, well, I think he needs to continue to do what how he's been doing in practice, and and he played pretty well the other night in the game, and that's the type of production I expect out of Mac, and uh, I'm assuming he expects it out of himself. So I think he needs to continue just to get better with his eyes and things like that. Defense is a lot of eyes and recognizing what's going on, and I think he's uh, continuing to work and get better at that, and as you do, the production should continue to go up. Well, missing this day, and I'm not sure if he'll be back by tomorrow or not, but will this impact his ability to start for, for Christian on Sunday? No, he will not. It won't impact it. I'm not saying he's starting for Christian, but it won't impact it. But sure, if you do the math, though. Injuries <laughs> in that secondary. You guys like using the five DBs, whether it's the three safeties or three corners. How much adjusting have you had to do late in the week? Well, I think, uh, you know, again, all the guys that are in the defensive back room, um, you know, we don't meet with the starters and then meet with the backups. They're all in there, so they all should be paying attention. And again, the same thing could happen in the middle of a game. Um, actually, I look at it as a, you know, it happened, what, two days before the game or three days before the game. So that's, you know, that's a, a little bit of an advantage. You say your expectations don't change, and I get that. Do you feel the need to have a talk with the team? Like, hey, we got a bunch of guys down, but, or do you think it's just understood? Um, I don't know. Are you asking if I've talked to the team yeah. about it? Um, yes, and we will continue to talk to the team. I talk to the team every day, so the message changes from day to day. Um, so I'll leave a little bit of that to the imagination. Do you, um, I, obviously, you, you're dealing with a bunch of injuries, but you're also you're facing a really good team, um, and I know you prepare for all the opponents. Kind of a bummer, same. isn't it? <laughs> but. Do you think this can tell you, I mean, kind of what you're facing and who you're facing, do you think this can tell you a lot about what the Browns are or what you guys have? Here's what, I'll leave you with this, all right? Here's what I want. I want whoever's at the game to play with passion. I want our fans to come with passion uh, because I promise you the guys that dress up are going to play uh, to the best of their ability. And we'll see what happens. Um, I don't want them worried about the scoreboard. I want them to worry about how they compete every play. And we let the score take care of itself. I want to play smart. I want to play fast. And I want to play physical, whoever's on the team. And I'll roll with whoever's there. Uh, I think we've got enough guys that are willing to go out and play well, prepare well, and put everything out there for 60 minutes or however long it takes. <laughs>